well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come to God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. And the Lord began to talk to me about a few things and I'll emphasize them. Um, there are different kinds of miracles that will happen in this place. There are miracles that will involve our bodies healings there are miracles that will involve our spirits salvation there are miracles that will require satan being expelled from within our midst whether possessing or influencing whatever it is there are miracles that will require a shift in our mindsets are you listening to me and so it's important for our hearts to be open because I understand there are people who just came here probably not having expectations and we don't know what it is that God wants to do in our lives I want you to know that God wants to transform you have an expectation God doesn't just want to touch you he wants to transform you Bible says that Saul turned into another man hallelujah praise the Lord now I want to talk about certain things before we even start ministering our goal listen to me our pride is not to keep laying hands on people and getting people healed and getting people delivered our pride and our our aspiration is to see that everyone seated here becomes a carrier of the glory of God hallelujah such that you are the one who will go and begin to work the miracles hallelujah I look forward to times when our miracle services will just be thanksgiving services where it will be testimonies all through because if your neighbor came sick as you are holding his hands just to start the service he's healed hallelujah do you believe that i'm going to be examining the root causes of sick diseases number one The Lord told me to emphasize this and this is very important. Disobedience. Disobedience to the principles of God. Now listen. There are many believers who do not obey the written word of God but are running up and down trying to chase and search for the voice of the Spirit. The only proof that you will respect the voice of the Holy Ghost is, you, is if you can believe the principles of God. The written word of God the Bible says you cannot love God who you have not seen if you cannot if you don't love your brother who you have seen God has left the word of God the written word the living logos of God inspired by the Holy Spirit so when we fail to live according to the standards of the word of God then we grant access to Satan to step into our lives there are several believers although we are born again please listen the miracle service has started although we are born again although we are filled with the holy ghost we have not been able to align ourselves 
to God's principles God's ways of doing things John 14 verse 21 says he that keepeth my commands he that keepeth my commands he is the one who truly loves me he said and I will love him and the father will love him and we will manifest ourselves to him John 14 21 he says he that keeps my commands not he who sings and says Lord I love you and I will obey you he that keeps my commands are you listening to me disobedience not many people are disobedient to the direct rhema the voice of the spirit but we are disobedient to the principles of God's word let me tell you something prayer will not replace obedience fasting will not replace obedience they all have their place but you will never replace disobedience with other spiritual things plead the blood do whatever you need to do let me show you an interesting scripture second corinthians chapter 10 please let's run i don't plan to teach for long second corinthians chapter 10 verse 6 second corinthians chapter 10 verse 6 are we there let's read it together one to read and having in a readiness to punish all disobedience when when your obedience is complete you only have the right to punish disobedience when your obedience is what is disobedience non-compliance the bible says our bodies are the temple of the holy ghost if satan brings sickness that's an act of disobedience to god are you listening to me but he said when our obedience is complete then authority is given unto us to punish disobedience jesus speaking says satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself in me so long as satan can find anything that represents death he has a legal access to your life a legal access to your body hallelujah and so the first miracle is the miracle of obedience that you come to a point where you realize that the word of god is not just something to hold and feel spiritual when you are going to church on sunday or do a devotional in the morning that it becomes your life and death i always quote this scripture my son pay attention to my word the bible says incline your ears to my sayings he said do not let them depart from out of thy mouth keep them in the midst of your heart they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh hallelujah a believer is not just one who has confessed jesus as lord a believer is one who has made up his mind to be governed by the word of god hallelujah in life and in death that you live by the word of god having the readiness to punish all disobedience when your obedience is complete hallelujah deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 it says it shall come to pass that day if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to obey to observe and to do all that is written therein it says that i'll cause these blessings to follow you and to overtake you and you shall be set on high above all the nations if you are willing to obey to live by the principles of the word let me tell you something the word of God and does not want to share a place with other ideologies it comes to replace them hallelujah this is the reason why a lot of believers find it difficult to adjust to the word of God because we have our own ideologies that we came to the kingdom with hallelujah and when you come you create a little space and say let lord let your word stay here while culture stays here while my mindset stays here no the lord is going to say my word comes to take away and bring in the new the word of god does not come into you to share space with other ideologies for a lie is anything that god did not say no matter how true it is listen 
no matter how real it is so as far as god is concerned the sickness in your body is a lie because he never spoke it to you so you bring that lie before him and allow him the truth when you know the truth that truth will set you free are you getting blessed tonight obedience say after me i receive grace to be obedient yes there are so many things so many families have given satan access to their lives prayer warriors notwithstanding bible study teachers notwithstanding pastors notwithstanding i'll take just one example in the area of obedience hallelujah to be addressing the issue one of the issues that the lord emphasized to me again and again is the issue of poverty hallelujah there are many families that satan has entered in and kept them perpetually bound do you know poverty is not lack of money poverty is the influence of demonic spirits upon your mind that hinders you from obeying the principles of god as regards your finances hallelujah the economic principle of god is tied to the law the law of sowing and reaping genesis chapter 8 verse 26 22 he told noah he said as far as the earth remains see time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night shall not cease shall not cease hallelujah no matter how much anointing oil you bring even if they draw a cross on your whole body there are principles are you listening to me malachi chapter 3 that's the foundation on which the blessing of the lord in the life of a believer is hinged on from verse 8 he says will a man rob god will a man rob god i hope you know he was talking to his covenant nation israel he was not speaking to the hidden nation will a man rob god he said wherein have we robbed me he says but he said wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and what say after me tithes and offerings the bible says verse 9 it says you are cursed with a curse listen this one is not the cause of the law is the cause of disobedience and robbery ye are caused with a cause for ye have robbed me even this whole nation verse 10 it says bring ye all how many help me follow me how many bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house it says and prove me test me I stake my reputation at this here which said the Lord of hosts if I will not blessing number one open the windows of heaven the last time the windows of heaven were open we saw that quails and manna fell he said to me if I will not open the windows of heaven open heavens number two and pour you out a blessing not many blessings pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive blessing number three it says and i will rebuke the only place in scripture where god says i will handle satan for you other parts he says Res resist the devil and he will flee but this one it says on account of being a faithful tighter i will rebuke the devourer there are many families that what they are suffering is the activity of the devourer they thought it was because they didn't have job now your father got a job now he's even a director nothing has changed that's the devourer 
the moment you receive your salary that's when everybody in your village is sick and then it just goes the moment the money is finished they become well by themselves no prayer no no oil no nothing it's called a devourer you buy a new car you say let me just test it and you come back with only the glass of the car because of a fatal accident that happened somewhere that's called a devourer are you listening to me a devourer it says and he that means the devourer is a person not a thing still talking about the devourer and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground neither shall your vine cast her fruit before her time in the field saith the lord verse 12 he says and all nations shall do what that's a testimony they will give about your life all nations shall testify that you are blessed he said for ye shall be a delightsome land Bula, a delightsome land these are the seven prophetic blessings that follow titus every time you talk about anything believers are excited the moment you talk about finances everybody just starts looking for things to do handkerchief to clean their face um I, do you have biro when you don't respect the principles of god he will not honor you are you listening to me so this is not just the issue of prayer many stingy believers want to cover the place of tithing for prophet's offering prophet's offering is not tithing i don't care if you give the prophet your whole life that's not tithe a tithe is a 10 portion let me shock many of you i'm going to say something that would disturb your spirit small your tithe is not 20 percent of your income your tithe is 10 percent period and full stop many men of god teach plenty because more money will come tithe is 10 percent obedience is better than sacrifice hallelujah where god calls a man and gives him a rema to give 90 percent of his tithe you cannot teach that as a theory to the church because it's not the universal character of god this is a rema that one person was sectioned out are you listening to me so many believers believe that when you don't tithe and the devourer comes you just run to a man of god and buy two new shoes what is your size 44 and then you just drop and say please pray for me no listen listen let me tell you something men of god are not herbalists although some are but real men of god are not herbalists so you don't try to bend spiritual principles using the anointing as an excuse i don't have much me that they are giving me two thousand listen don't say the day i have money i will give you will never have it is your giving that will take you to that land. so number one tithing bishop Oedeko calls it your kingdom insurance hallelujah number two is your giving luke 6 38 give and it shall be given unto you let me give you my version don't give and what will happen say it it will not be given unto you period and full stop there is no point wasting your time asking don't give and it shall not be given unto you your the lives of our family members are testimonies to this scripture their greed and stingy nature has kept them hey, will it be enough for me every time god wants to bless you he compels something to leave you read your bible we jump those places we jump them and just read the end of the story and the blessings that follow are you following me now miracle service ah philippians 4 19 paul says my god shall supply hold on he was talking to give us start reading from verse 12 don't jump to verse 19 start reading from verse 12 those who committed themselves to give and paul said my god many of you say my god shall supply my need that blessing is from a receiver to a giver paul said my god shall supply your needs you who have given but many of us you are the giver you are the receiver my god shall supply my needs uh -uh. read your bible that's not what it says 
no matter who you are let me tell you something god is no respecter of persons but is a respecter of his principles make up your mind that you will begin to tithe but i've been tithing for one year i didn't see any results continue the bible says if the cloud be full of rain they will empty themselves are you listening to me be committed don't come to the house of god empty-handed i know there are ministers that have turned the whole money thing everything in church is money 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 you sow for everything everything even teaching that you don't understand you just run and come and drop seed i'm not against coming to drop seed are you listening to me i'm just saying that god is more interested in our growth than our religion hallelujah very important when you tithe and you give whenever you hear that there is a project in the house of god don't keep quiet and say ah these people want to eat our money again no no take it seriously solomon said i will not give god what will cost me nothing the bible says he he bought a land and offered therein a thousand bond offerings and the bible says that same night not the next day he didn't send an angel god himself came and said solomon you have touched me the bible says gather unto me my people they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice if you are not an ardent giver forget about increase are you getting blessed tonight you see that this is not just the issue of fasting and prayer or confessing the word of god you must do many of us are titers you only tight once then after four months you think god is afraid of you let me tell you something if jesus if god the father did not spare jesus when he became a sinner he will not spare you we need to understand this jesus turned to the father and said eloi eloi lama sabachthani and the father did not respond hallelujah righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne so your first determination tonight is that you will become a tighter buy envelopes don't look for it when the money comes your needs are plenty buy envelopes your tight is not your last 10 percent when you do everything you just calculate uh, 170 2005 85 then you just check your pocket some of you come to give tithes let me teach you how to give tithes don't just squeeze money and put it in your pocket and while they are praying you are just checking and 200 naira comes you push it down you bring 100 naira and say god knows it's 1000 and then you stand the bible says honor the lord it is a gift to the lord your tithe bring it to honor the lord how do you honor someone when you cook food to honor somebody you put it in your heart and say taste and see if it's sweet you package it are you listening to me buy envelopes as soon as money comes into your hands you may not be able to give tithes of 200 300 200 but this is what i do some of those little little amounts you can't pick out tithes from 10 errors in one error so when a bulk amount comes i remove and by faith i remove what i call a representative fraction i say lord i know that i was within the range of one to five thousand naira that came as miscellaneous i'm adding this 500 naira by faith and I'm releasing it to cover for it. Are you listening to me? Be faithful in your tithing. We live in a hostile country, people. Don't you think that your lack of adherence to God's word will be good for you? Begin to build, send vapor to the cloud right now. Let your clouds be full. So that when you begin to step out, it will begin to rain. Hallelujah. One last thing I'll talk about for finance and then I'm done. The Bible never said God will send money from heaven. There have been a few miracles like that in the fish and the rest. But they didn't happen many times. Meaning it will happen many times that way in your life. You open your wallet one day and saw 1,000. It will not continue to happen every day. That was a miracle to salvage you, encourage you and show you God's love. Hallelujah when you tithe 
and you give listen to me the heavens are open over you the favor of God comes upon you let me tell you something the favor of God does not bring you financial freedom the favor of God sets you on a pace and brings seed for you brings wisdom for you brings the connection for you it is your application of the principles of God that's why you can give and say ah a breakthrough happened somebody called me and they gave me a job somebody called me and they gave me a 10 million naira that's not all you need in this life that's a seed that is supposed to meet wisdom that is already waiting and it should change your life are you listening to me the place of diligence in building yourself there are many of us that all of the laws of finances we have neglected them i have been shouting this thing for years you will never get blessed above your mindset god himself will stop you from getting there there are many stingy and greedy people they know nothing about money there are many ministries they know nothing about financial planning they know nothing about leadership and corporate finance and administration yet they want god to bless them with one billion he will not it doesn't work that way let me show you something quickly matthew 25 i shared this scripture somewhere i think i was talking to a few people let me show you something very interesting and then we'll wrap I want us to really receive i don't just want us to come and laugh and rejoice it's not fair you are spending your time some of us are coming from far and from near matthew 25 are you there it says then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto what then the first revelation is they are all virgins are you listening to me so the story is about 10 virgins not five virgins and five other castaways or prostitutes ten virgins it says they took their lamps thy word is a word lamp to my feet and a light to my path that means they had the word of god are you listening to me they had the word of god let's read on and went forth to meet the bridegroom verse two five of them were wise so ten of them took lamps but the bible says five were wise and five were foolish although they were virgins although they were believers although they were the bride of the bridegroom the bible says five were wise five were foolish read on and they that were foolish this is what they did that made them foolish they took lamps so they had the word of god are you listening to me but the bible says and they took no oil with it i hope you know the lamp was burning when you read from amplified it tells you extra oil not just oil there was already oil hallelujah that's a type of the inspiration the anointing the grace of the spirit but the wise took extra oil in their vessels not the lamb but the bible says we have this uh, this treasure in where now he said they took extra oil in their vessels follow me i want to show you a powerful revelation so that's what made some wise they only catered for now and every time there are many of you in church the moment they begin to be this the bible says the foolish ones were myopic they took their lamp they did not know that it requires more oil because it's burning the bible says the wise ones took extra there are things god is giving you now that are extra they don't look spiritual but these are the extra oil when you tithe when you give god opens you those extra ideas those extra information you just step into a bookstore and you see a book management and god is saying buy it he said but god i'm a faithful usher god is saying get it extra oil the foolish people say no i'm just looking for anointing if it's anointing and five ways to study your bible god is saying get those extra oil listen this is very important the bible says some got extra oil some did not and all of them went in watch what happened all of them slept because they were waiting for the bridegroom and it didn't come 
the bible says at a particular point there was a shout and they said rise up the bridegroom is here what happened because it had been burning those who had extra oil in their vessels did what they found out that there was an emergency situation and so they had to take advantage of the extra oil are you listening to me and now they began to pour it and the alarm came back and those who were foolish what happened to them the bible says they had no oil they had lamp the lamp was burning but it was about to die and it was it was obvious that it was not enough to sustain them till the arrival of the bridegroom guess what happened in any case you will still buy that extra vessel the trouble is when they began to say help us the people say no we cannot help you we got enough for ourselves they say go to the buyers that means the buyers were always there but the people neglected it when the buyers were marketing and saying come and buy extra oil say no 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 are you not seeing how bright my lamp is they say it may not make sense now we don't know how long the bridegroom will stay they say no no he will come now are you getting blessed when the lord showed me this it opened me up everything god leads me to i don't play again if god says learn something about sweeping go ahead you're a man of god but learn it extra oil are you listening to me the bible says to a point that there will be no room to contain it because a day will come when the lamp of many will be growing dim paul had his knowledge of the jewish culture a time came it was not his anointing that saved him are you listening to me the romans were going to beat him and he said hold on let me tell you people something in the midst of the heat and the suffering hallelujah he began to prophesy in the midst of all of these things he began to speak what did he say he said i am a jew he said let me tell you i was trained under gamaliel a pharisee to the core ah they suddenly that was his extra oil a time came when he escaped in the and they went to an island called melita after the angel appeared to him and he said there shall be no loss there was no church and nobody to support him because they were actually taking him to kill him the bible says he went to, to his tent making and suddenly his tent making sustained him and he bought a house with it these were some of the extra oils are you listening to me get your extra oil get your extra oil because the revival that is going to happen let me tell you something the bible says see thou a man diligent in his business he shall not stand before me men he shall stand before kings he said the gift of a man when you begin to tithe god grants you opportunities for your gifts to rise up can i say something very honestly many men of god even those who are rich don't know why they are rich that's why they are not teaching their congregation correctly the men do not understand of course ministry is not business are you getting me but watch this if assuming aaron come please assuming aaron is a ceo of a company and he's sick and dying are you listening to me okay thank you very much hallelujah and then i lay hands on him and he gets healed are you listening to me and then he decides to say man of god the money i would have gone to the hospital with the hundred million i sow into your life watch this is it not the gift of god that work in a man who has disciplined himself to find it and he has he has brought it to meet a need is that correct are you listening to me and because the bible says he shall not stand before me men he receives the reward many of the men of god think it's because they are preachers that they are getting blessed the answer is no they have paid the price and they have built something are you listening to me i am blessing you is that correct i am doing something to your mind god is going to use us to heal you and so when you come to honor us is the same thing that happens when somebody packages a product and goes to give someone and he is blessed for it are you listening to me because the way men of god teach they teach it in such a way that everybody wants to be a man of god because they have made it look like if you're a man of god you cannot get blessed what of the person who is not called into a fivefold ministry how did god package his finances are you listening to me the gift of a man don't let anybody deceive you the gift of a man god will use your witty inventions god will use your giftings god will use your ideas and he will grant you grace and the anointing of the spirit is upon it and he will open you up to an endless realm of blessing say amen god bless you sir after you have done all of this then you can now begin to pray 
and speak the word and say lord i speak increase to my finances and then follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise let me tell you brothers and sisters there is no other way i know in the bible that you will arrive to lasting blessings even for your family no matter how hard working you are if you are not a tighter you are in trouble no matter how much you are a tighter you are if you are not diligent to open yourself to other areas of christ and other areas of the wisdom of his word you will not receive anything the bible says get wisdom get understanding he said exalt and she shall promote you she shall put an end an ornament of glory a crown of glory upon your head where thou dost embrace her he said i riches dwell with prudence then i have knowledge of witty inventions he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches say it's god's desire to bless me and it's god's desire to bless my family say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be a tither i kill greed in my life i am a faithful tither a consistent tither i am a giver say it i am a giver i invest in the house of god and then god will bless you the second thing the lord spoke to me about is fear fear one of the root causes listen to me one of the root causes of sicknesses and infirmity is fear listen statistics has it to say that over 80 percent of the things we fear do not actually happen 80 percent of the things we fear don't happen hallelujah hebrews chapter 2 verse 15 the bible says and to deliver them who through fear have all their lifetime be subject to bondage what does fear do it keeps you in bondage fear fear of the unknown there are many people you are working in a hospital every day you are busy crying and say hey will i catch hiv i'm giving hiv patients this and the day you touch an hiv patient and the needle touches you say hey, it has happened fear 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 you go to see the doctor for a medical checkup and the doctor is reading a book you think he's nodding over your situation and you start lamenting say hey it has happened and that seed is sown into you do you realize there are many people who were sick and did not know that were sick they were very healthy until the day the doctor told them this is wrong with you suddenly they started emaciating if the doctor had not told them i tell you they would have been bubbling and laughing the day they had that report that was the day that ministration of death happened fear fear of death you want to travel fear You want to start a business or a company or a corporation fear you want to start a ministry fear the bible says for god has not given us the spirit of what fear second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for god say for god has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is a demonic spirit many of you as you are coming for the miracle service satan will be speaking to you and say are you sure are you sure you'll be healed this is your situation have you not gone you traveled abroad you went for healing you did whatever you were around in miracle service january february march april you were not healed what is the guarantee that you'll be healed now prophecies came words of knowledge came but you were not healed fear 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 keeps people in bondage you must conquer fear are you listening to me say i refuse to fear there are many people here god has been speaking to you build your house build your house you just laugh you check your account and you see there is ten thousand there god said build your house 
you don't even have the courage to check and see if there is land available many of our fathers are like that they are reaching many people when they begin to reach retirement age what happens fear they become aggressive different kinds of do you know that many diseases high blood pressure stroke they are psychological sicknesses hallelujah many of them are psychological sicknesses lack of money lack of help lack of trouble lack of this a man is giving out his daughter is afraid will she die hey, what will happen in this nigeria you want to travel abroad people are laughing with you you are crying will i die fear say i refuse to fear say it one more time i refuse to fear people are not getting married the moment you check you are 23 years old you are going for every counseling you know they say how old are you, you say 23 and the woman say ah so what's the hurry for he said forget oh i'm not playing that's how the ones who went before me waited now they are 37 fear and satan begins to minister fear to you i hope the word of god is setting you free because that's a miracle some of you need right now you write an exam and you did well you cross check it and you got everything but you are more afraid than the people who would even do the exam you are going around meeting the lecturer please just solve the questions let me just be sure ah hey, the way this thing is doing my my heart many diseases that we have today are as a result of fear are you listening to me no matter how hands are laid on you if you do not conquer that fear it will come back have you seen people come again and again to join healing lines they are healed they go back then they come back again i refuse to fear i refuse to fear hallelujah i refuse to fear let the courage joshua when moses gave him the button he looked at two point something million people angry people and joshua was afraid and god said be strong come on be strong you're a young man but be strong and courageous as i was with moses so i will be with you say the lord is with me i refuse to be afraid your father calls you and says Tor, you're of age now 200 level is not a joke i didn't get to 200 level you start paying your school fees from now and you receive that news and fear comes you suddenly begin to check which of my uncles which of my aunties every time an angel appears to bring us messages from god what do they start fear not they know the people they are dealing with so they say fear not relax fear not tell yourself fear not hallelujah someone met me one time and said ah the way you walk and you do the things that you do ah don't you think you need rest you know this is how it starts one day high blood pressure comes i said the day you hear that i have high blood pressure i say it with all authority and by the sure message of god you know that's a lie there is no reason there is no reason hallelujah the worst that can happen is that i will die when i die people mourn and say ah joshua selman <laughs> and then that's all after two weeks you continue no matter how you love me you will cry and continue life no matter how i love you i will go and leave you and look at and join the cloud of witnesses and say aaron fire hallelujah fear of death is the greatest kind of fear when you conquer that one you are alive until that until you conquer the fear of death you are still existing hallelujah i was coming back from lagos this morning and see i'm telling you it will take a long time for nigerians to recover from what happened the plane crash i i mean i saw somebody videotaping uh, as in from his phone his blackberry he sat in front of me and he was just snapping everything i said what is going on in this guy's mind now he's saying in case in case oh our hearts go for the families that are that were we prayed for them here and we encouraged them but i want you to be full of faith your fear does not help anything it hurts everything 
share has never helped any man. Ten spies, twelve spies came back, and ten said, "Ah, he said Moses, you're a wicked man." Thank God we came back alive. Are you joking? We ate of the fruit, but we are not going there again. Joshua and Caleb said, "We are well able. Let us go up at once. At once." Many of you are afraid to confront your life. Hallelujah. To confront us. Go and apply for a job. You say, me, I read psychology. Eh? And the Holy Spirit is saying, go and drop your offer in the bank. You are saying, psychology, third class. I can't mock myself. I've laughed at myself alone in the room. Fear. Fear. Hallelujah. It's time for you to get married. God is telling you, that's your wife. Fear. And every time you just pass and say, Hey, God. And you do as if you are going to the bathroom. And you say, Lord, how do I compose myself? Bible says, when you stand before them, you shall not think of what to say. For in that very hour, it will not be you speaking. And all the brothers say, He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. It's called Anakazo. The compelling power of the Spirit. So you better start listening to what your father and mother is telling you. Hallelujah. The last thing, joy. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. I know many of us don't know where this scripture is. We always quote it. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. The reason why many believers are weak is because we lack joy. Nehemiah chapter 8. It says, are you there? Okay. Nehemiah chapter 8. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. It says, and he said, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared he said for this day is holy unto our god neither be ye sorry afraid intimidated he said for the joy of the lord is your strength do you know there are many weak people they are weak because they don't know what is wrong with them it's lack of joy he said a merry heart do it good like medicine not a merry mouth joy is not just laughing a merriment of your heart a merry heart do it good like medicine but a broken spirit who can bear lack of joy there are many diseases right now that i'm telling you as i'm speaking you'll be living suddenly you find out that your blood pressure is coming back to normal no prayer the joy of the lord becomes strength for you in the spirit the Bible says, for with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation. The word salvation there in the Greek is the word soteria. Healing, prosperity, breakthrough, with joy. With joy. Hallelujah. The system designs people to be angry. Hallelujah. Just go on the street and see everybody. Drivers are angry conductors are angry those entering the car are angry government officials are angry you want to listen to the news the moment the song you know the, the song is playing you're already frowning let's see what they will tell us is eating your spirit and the next thing you wake up with pains all over your body they go to the hospital they cannot find what it is i tell you it's lack of joy 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 even medical science tells us that happy and joyful people live long hallelujah there are some of you because of anger your face has assumed that shape even when you are happy people have to find out whether you are you are really so or not makes you hostile to your wife hostile to your husband hostile to your children lack of joy there are many of you as soon as you are going to meet your parents they are angry not because they are not happy to see you fear lack of joy they know school fees will come and other things and unnecessary anger why is there too much salt in this food and you know there's no so there's no too much salt lack of joy 
are you getting blessed tonight there are many of you you are angry with your roommates one month ago they used your pot they didn't wash it lack of joy is spirit you go to prayer and you cannot pray after 10 minutes you didn't even know when you stopped and you are thinking i just said bah, 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 bah. you are angry a broken spirit the bible calls it hallelujah yes we have people who are angry sad angry at the government angry at your lecturer the moment your lecturer steps in you are eyeing the person all through you don't even know the lecture has started angry at exams you see timetable you just stand why see cultivate an attitude of joy are you listening to me you're cooking your roommates don't know whether they are the ones hurting you or you are just angry you are hissing 20 times the people who are laughing with you they don't know whether they are the ones who have offended you or not hallelujah lack of joy the joy of the lord is my strength the joy of the lord is my strength the joy of the lord the joy of the lord the joy of the lord it is my strength hallelujah the joy of the lord as we begin to minister to you be happy be excited let me tell you something satan can never dwell in the realm where there is joy and praises that's why the bible says god himself inhabits the praises of his people once your life is full of joy you are happy you are excited not necessarily you have no it you know you are hungry but you are excited you are even comforting somebody who just finished a plate of amala and the person is sad and you are comforting the person and the person says have you eaten you say no let's say you mean it someone is shouting and angry and say ah my father didn't send me money and you see someone who tells you you are lucky i don't even have a father and a mother but i call him faithful it's only thirty thirty thousand naira they are sending to me and somebody says the last the only thing they gave him from the village was half of his transport and faith took him and now he's in final year what is killing your joy i know it looks very simple the first time I had this was I had Joan Hunter, the daughter of Charles and Francis Hunter, talking about it. And one day the Lord opened my eyes and I began to see that many sicknesses are as a result of lack of joy. It eats you up. You see someone getting lean. It's not HIV. It's not liver problem. A young man of 21 thinking as if he's 50 years. You are not married. You don't have a wife. You are just thinking. hallelujah from the day you wrote jam you are thinking you are just thinking once you see any letter you and m it threatens you ah you hear me jam can you learn to be confident in life and allow the joy of the spirit come upon you the lord asked me to preach these things disobedience fear and lack of joy a merry heart do it good why did he link a merry heart to medicine it has a therapeutic effect where you smile and you are happy you see your roommates and you get up and say bless you bless you your roommate is frowning say there's no problem i know i'm sorry say god over my dead body for me to say i'm sorry i've been keeping quiet i'm not a fool i will let you know that i'm not stupid but he's killing you can't you see when you hold someone down part of you must be down to keep holding the person so you will never move forward yourself when you release people and let them go lack of joy brings offense everything annoys you food that you know is nice why is there bone in this fish as if this is the first time you are eating it you get angry at your boss in office 
you get angry at everybody when you come to church you just look and say why is Ike smiling as he's playing that keyboard can't he keep quiet why must the protocol stand here you see let me tell you when there is no joy you become edgy you are offended everything gets you angry why did my room and my my seatmate put perfume he is reacting one kind oh god your problem is lack of joy that's why people laugh under the anointing a renaissance of joy god brings joy even God sits in the heavens and laughs so as we arise and begin to trust God to do a quick walk in this place tonight I want you to know that once there is joy in you and there is no fear many of you may not really need any miracle for your body again you will suddenly stand up and find out that that pain is not there because that's the strength that Satan had you call it fever you call it recurrent fever but now you are seeing that the real thing is lack of joy worry the bible dedicated one whole chapter to address the issue of worry he said who among you by worrying will add a cubit to his hand he said look consider the lilies of the field they do not sow nor reap they are breaking a law yet your heavenly father provides for them he says not even solomon adorned in all his regalia is as one of these Is God not faithful? Is He not faithful? That you are alive today is proof that there is hope for your life. I, I have HIV. They've told me I'll live for two years. Whose report will you believe? Let the joy of the Spirit radiate through you. Rise up on your feet. Go ahead and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God will do amazing things in this place shortly. Bless the Lord. Grace to be obedient. Make sure you are praying. Grace to be obedient. Grace to be obedient. Pray against fear. I conquer fear. The fear of death. Fear of failure. Fear of sickness. Fear of my needs being met. God is able. What God does not give you, you cannot get. Where God does not take you, you cannot go. Fear of marriage. Fear of children fear of the past lift your voice and say I can't I conquer fear fear that brings depression fear that empowers Satan to keep sickness in your body command fear to go I stop being afraid of who will sponsor me whether the business idea will thrive whether the ministry will thrive whether I will get married whether I will build a house whether I will graduate conquer that fear whether my project will be received whether I'll be promoted in my office. Pray. I conquer that fear. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Will the sickness leave me? Yes, it will. Now go ahead and prophesy. Say joy. I've got joy. It's like a river. Let the joy of the spirit become strength to my bones. They can take a part of the bones. That my grain goes. Offense, unforgiveness, all the things that lack of joy brings. 
prophesy say my spirit will not be broken the bible says a broken spirit a broken spirit who can bear lack of joy can kill lack of joy will depress you i choose to be full of joy joy the oil of gladness the garment of praise Hallelujah. Now, as we begin to minister, we're going to be very fast because of time. Hallelujah. God is going to be bringing instant miracles. Instant miracles to people. Hallelujah. When that happens, please, it's good to testify. Once, even if the miracle has not been complete, once it has started, locate the ushers very quickly. Let's see if we can have a few testimonies. We'll be really fast. We may not be able to go into so much of details. Hallelujah. Where is the family that came from Bauchi? Let's start from there. This is not word of knowledge. I was told. Where is the family that came from Bauchi? Are you here? Come out quickly inside and outside. Alright, come quick, 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 quick. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come, sir. Okay. Hallelujah. You came all the way from Bauchi. I want you to know that you will not go back the same. Are you listening to me? But the devil is oppressing you. I'm seeing a whirlwind around you. This is what I'm seeing. You have been so oppressed. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hallelujah. And God will set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. You came all the way because you have faith. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one. Hallelujah. Pray for you. Jesus Christ, thou devil, take your hands off his body. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. I command that devil of In the name of Jesus. Be delivered right now. I set you free. See. I see that the plan is even to take his life. Before the end of this year, this is the plan to kill this guy. You see that? That they'll go and lock you up in a place where they lock mad men. And from there, you will just sleep and you will not wake up. It happened last year. You see that? It happened last year. They went and locked him. Psychiatry at this same time. The plan is that this, at the beginning of next month, you are supposed to go to a psychiatry. And that's where you go and die. Praise the Lord. Last year, same time this month, I was being locked due to some, at least some demonic attacks, which influenced me in order to attack my parents with weapons. And I was arrested by the police. Iron, metal, knife. I this was, is it. I'm seeing it right before me. I was arrested by the policeman. Later on, they now found out that I was mentally as affected. They took me to the psychiatry. But to God be the glory. The psychiatrist uh, overall there says I'm not mad. But it seems I'm possessed. No, you, you'll be free right now. Oh, no, come on. You came for Koinonia. You will know you met God tonight. Are you listening? God reveals to redeem. If God has, has, has revealed your situation, you'll be free from it. Hmm? The scourging tongues of men, the influences of friends, look at them right before you. Hmm? Listen, look at me. Love is a command. Relationship is not. 
wave your friends goodbye where you go to bow to. Are you listening to me? Many of your friends are not good people. Are you listening to me? Tell them goodbye and come to church and find healthy friends who love God and are serious. But I want to pray for you right now. Are you listening to me? Say in the name of Jesus. Yes. I am free. In the name of Jesus. I am free. I am free. All right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release the power of God upon you right now. No, 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 not you. I'm praying for you now. I command that devil influencing you over your mind. Now be free. Be gone by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psychosomatism go. Demonic influence go. From today you begin to behave normally. Now, right now, right here. In the name of Jesus Christ, see something is happening to you. I'm seeing like something is leaving you. That's what I'm seeing. I'm, something is coming out from inside you. That's what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, I command that demonic thing to leave you right now. Hallelujah. There's a wild spirit that entered this guy. I command that devil, come out of him right now. Come out of him right now. Come out of him right now. In the name of Jesus, look, see what is happening. You see the way he's breathing? This is the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce you free. Liberty for you. Liberty from today. No more returning to the psychiatry. By faith, I call you perfectly whole. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. You are free. You are free, sir. God is bringing restoration to your family. Are you listening to me? Financial restoration. God is blessing your family. Who is Suleiman? Do you know anybody called Suleiman? I'm seeing a name Suleiman. No, no. I'm saying it may not be related to your family. I'm just saying who is Suleiman? You know anyone called Suleiman? Who is he? Mohammed Suleiman, is my Suleiman is your brother. Yes. Go and tell him that the Lord is going to bring him into a great season of favor. Suleiman. The Lord says I should tell you. Go and tell Suleiman. Are you listening to me? What does he do? He's he just finished his HND at Federal Polytechnic Polytechnic. But God is saying, I should tell you, go and tell him. I didn't know that he has just finished. Up to now, he's disturbing me to bring my credentials. He's disturbing me every That's day to saying. bring. Go and tell him that the Lord says that he's entering a new season of financial favor. I pray for all of you as a family right now. Stretch your hands, saints of God, in one minute. Let's pray for them. You came all the way from Bauchi. Return with testimonies. Perfection upon this gentleman and then upon you all of you you will carry an anointing and go back with it in the name of jesus i pray that the fire of the spirit will burn in you the fire of the spirit will burn in you the fire of the spirit for god will use you mightily my brother you will be used as a mighty tool in the hands of god you will be a great teacher of the world and you will move in signs and wonders that's what the spirit of god is saying God bless you. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The couple that came from Abuja or Kaduna, you called me, you spoke with me about it. Um, Hakim. Is he here? Come. listening to me. I want you to go tomorrow, find the nearest hospital and go and conduct a test. Are you listening to me? It will end right now. The power of God, I'm going to minister to you. I already sense the power of God for you. Oh yes, you will be healed. Lift your hands. The power of God comes upon you strong. Thou devil, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus come out of her now come out of her now come out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire of God burn every chaff inside you right now the fire of God comes upon you strong every chaff be burned now 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 in the name of Jesus that devil of infirmity leaves you it leaves you it leaves you it leaves you boy the power of God is upon this lady come sir what do you do you work with Nigerian Defense Academy. Nigerian Defense Academy. Are you due for promotion? Not yet. You are not yet due for promotion. God will do something in your life that will shock your colleagues. Are you listening to me? Because I saw I saw something like like uh, soldier cap. That's why I'm asking you whether. You, but you are not a military man. So what are you doing in NDA? An accountant there. You are an accountant there. Yes. God is going to promote you and He will increase you. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a file. What is this file that I'm seeing? Uh, is there a problem in your office? There is a problem in your office. You are afraid to tell me. See, there is no shame here. This is the family of God. There is a problem in your office. There is a problem in your office money that was released for something and I know there is a problem in your office. God is revealing it to help you. You work in the accounts department. You know the way soldiers are, they'll just send all of you away. But God wants to promote you. Soldiers don't take nonsense. But let me pray for you right now. The Lord says for me to release upon you an oil of gladness above your fellows. Hallelujah. You believe that? In the name of the Lord Jesus, an oil of gladness comes upon you strong receive it right now receive it right now in the name of jesus and oil of gladness you go back with a mantle of glory please two of you come you and her hold your hands together for what god has joined let no man put asunder in the name of jesus i declare no death you will have children by the power of god no one will resist you not sickness in the name of jesus christ God bless you. Appreciate them, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I don't know how we'll do it, but we'll be really fast. Praise God. We'll be really, really, really fast. If you came here with any heart problem, please come out quickly. Run out quickly. Heart problem, hole in your heart. Um, any heart problem, please, let's save time. Heart problem, come out quickly heart problem those with heart problem hole in your heart and breathing problem as a result of quick 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 please come out we have to be really fast all of you lift your hands those who are sick the power of God will begin to come upon you like heat the moment that happens, as soon as I pray for these people, I want those people to come out quickly. Heart problems. It will go, look at me, my dear. What's wrong with you? It's going to leave you now. Out of her! In the name of Jesus, perfection for you and wholeness. Go back to your seat. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Jesus be healed. Go and check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Locate the ushers the moment you get here and God bless you. There's no time to uh, waste in the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Pneumonia. pneumonia. It's not just pneumonia. You have bronchitis too. You have bronchitis. The Lord heals you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Perfection for you. In the name of Jesus, perfection. What's wrong with you? Pneumonia and swollen heart. The swollen heart, yes, is unusually enlarged. Yes, 
on one side of the heart yes the lord heals you now yes i see it in the name of jesus i command perfection be healed now by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah now lift your hands as i begin to release the healing power of god inside and outside you're going to feel this is the sign god gives me hallelujah heat heat will come on your hand many of you as you you will be healed right there some of you will come out hallelujah in the name of the lord jesus i release the healing power right now according to the instruction of the holy spirit all over this building let the heat the fire of god is coming already upon you the moment you sense that you're sick and you sense the heat is heat that's what god tells me heat real heat on your hands i like you to leave your seat and come quickly quickly don't think about it leave your seat and come quickly it's happening to men inside and outside ushers help them and let them come the moment that heat happens to you the lord is showing me please hurry up we're not we don't have time to waste hallelujah the heat coming upon your hands run out quickly is happening to people i'm seeing it in the spirit don't walk run inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside is happening to people that's the instruction god gives me heat strong heat on your hands it doesn't matter what is wrong with you bring them quickly that heat lift your hands everybody oh let let the heat come outside let it come upon you let's just flow as the spirit works. that heat is the healing anointing satan you are a liar heat quickly as that heat happens as that it happens to your hands, please hurry up. At the back, at the back, at the back, at the back, at the the back, at the back, at the back, at the back, at the back, to our places, heal by the power of God. She loves the Lord. He 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 loves the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. All of you who came out here, I pronounce you healed totally. Young lady, please stand up. What is wrong with you? Your teeth. It will go now. Are you listening to me? Go! Now, in the name of Jesus. Please stand up. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Bring this lady for me. Let her go. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything around your stomach area leaves you. In the name of Jesus. All of you in front, I declare upon you. Please, servants of God, can we just come and lay hands on the people. As they make contact and seal the healing power of God upon you. Immediately, you are healed. Go back and you check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you. Perfection for you. Perfection as they pray for you. As they pray for you. As they pray for you, receive it now. As they pray for you. MD, in the 
the name of Jesus, I pray for you be healed. Let the power of God touch you right there. Perfection for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Praise under the oppression of Satan. The power of God will come upon some of you now. Ushers, let me help those people inside and outside. Lift your hands. Right now. I release the power of the Holy Spirit. The influence of Satan over your life. Let it go. Now. 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 Bring them out. Shake it. tonight at the count of three shout it as loud as you can the power of god will fall upon many of you outside i'm singing one two three Shout Jesus. There are still some of you outside. Are you ready? One, two, three. All of you here, that devil is a liar. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come out of her. That serpentine spirit. That's what I mean. Come out of her. Come out of her. Now. Now.
Alléluia. Alléluia. count of three, you and all your demons and devils will leave God's people now. All of you in front, there is fire upon my hands and the Lord says for me to release it. And at the count of three, I release it. That devil cannot remain. One, two, three. I release that fire across every one of you. Satan, I command you, come out of these ones. I speak liberty. Liberty. One person outside. At the rear end, outside. The power of God comes upon you. The power of God comes upon you. You are supposed to be here. Hallelujah. Zainab. Who is Zainab? Zainab. I'm hearing the name Zainab. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Ministers, let's see how we can squeeze. Even if it's five, five minutes, we'll do it very quickly. So they just come release words. We're out of time. We need to pray. We need to pray for the request. Please come. Okay, so Jamfa, you come. Please. You can be able to take some time. While I was praying, the Lord showed me a vision. I saw heaps of envelopes. And God says there's going to be a supernatural release of jobs tonight. If you believe it, just connect with it. Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we prophesy under this atmosphere, let there be supernatural, supernatural release of jobs for your people, supernatural release of jobs for your people, supernatural release for jobs for your people, in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord gives me the name Chopper. I hear the name Chopper. You have sickness in your body. If the Chopper that I'm talking about is here, just run quickly. Top by the Lord just with the name Top by. Top by, if you are Top by here, quickly, quickly, please. Just come and carry your case if you are the one. Don't waste time. Hurry up, please. The Lord wants to heal Top by. Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Just lift up your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch her body now. Touch her. Touch her. Touch her. Touch her and bring healing to her. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release healing. Healing right now. Go in the name of Jesus around your stomach region. I command supernatural healing. Healing in the name of Jesus. Go, you're free. The Lord gives me another name again. Halima. I see Halima has this Halima that, that the Lord is talking about. You have sickness in your body. Halima, and you've been looking for a job. You've been seeking for a job for a while. If the Lord is talking about maybe your sister or your here, yeah, just run out quickly. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tony, Tony, I just want you to lift up your hands. I hear the Lord speaking to me about, about your father. God says there's a work of healing that he wants to do in his body. You are aware that he has a challenge in his body. Something connected to the blood region. God says he wants to do that work of healing in his body. And I hear God says within now in the next one year, there shall be supernatural open doors for him. I see connection in high places. God says that connection shall even come somewhere around Abuja. That's where I'm seeing, outside of this school. And I declare that release in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mommy, just lift up your hands. God says he wants to touch you. 
God says you have been afraid and you have been carrying fear in your heart. There's a pain that you have carried in your heart for many years. Something even connected to your husband. God wants to heal that pain. A loss connected to your husband. Mommy, where is he? Where is your husband? Look at me, mommy. He's late. Your husband is late. That's what I'm talking about. The pain of your husband's death that you have carried in your heart for many years. God says he's going to heal that right now. And God says he's also going to touch your body. I see pain around your joints that God is going to heal. Around your knee region and your waist. I'd like you to just put your hand on your waist right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we command healing, 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 healing in the name of Jesus. And God says death shall not come near your home. I see a business you are doing right now that God is beginning to prosper. Lord, we command that prosperity. Let that door be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The Lord brings total healings to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My sister, God says, is breaking the hold of disappointment around your life. Disappointment even connected to men. You've had disappointment from one man to another. Several men have disappointed you. I'm sorry. But like you said, this is the family of God. Just put your hands on your head. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I break that curse. I break that curse. I break it now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Mommy, God says He's bringing restoration. Say the injustice that you have experienced around you. God says He's breaking that hold in the name of Jesus. I will see some things connected to your late husband. And God says they shall call you. They shall call you and they shall seek to help you. I release that favor in the name of Jesus. God says for the people that He has sent to help you that will fire away from you. They are beginning to come to you right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gives me the name happiness. Happiness, happiness, happiness. If you are here, just quickly. Happiness, happiness. There's something the Lord is showing me about your family. Happiness. Happiness. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you because you are breaking that yoke over her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see a lady who walked into this place. You came in with, your, with, with, with a liver disease. You came in with a liver disease. Just lift up your hands. You came in here with a liver disease. Just lift up your hands quickly. They told me that you have liver inflammation. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands. Let me command healing into your body. Lord, we command healing to those ones. With that liver disease, we command healing in the name of the Lord Jesus. God says he's breaking stagnation from your family. The financial situation that your father has had to struggle with, God says he's breaking that hold right now. I hear God says harvest is coming. Harvest is coming. Harvest is coming. Harvest is coming. And God says I take away sickness from him right now. Am I saying the truth? God wants to heal your father right now. God says stroke shall not have a place in his body in the name of the Lord Jesus and that symptoms that he has suffered for a while right now I command supernatural healing supernatural healing in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you father among the three young men that came from Bauchi I, I, I see somebody sick in one of your families. I'm seeing somebody lying on the bed, very sick, very ill, as though the person is bedridden. Where is that person? Among the three guys who came here. I like him present. Take me for that person to run out quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing somebody sick, lying as though bedridden. 
Who is that person? Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare healing, 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 healing to that lady right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we command total healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying somebody, they stole your father's car just recently. Just recently, just lift up your hands, they stole your father's car. God says there's going to be a supernatural restoration. Where is that person? They stole your father's car recently. God says there's going to be supernatural restoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because you command that restoration right now. In the name of Jesus. The angel of the Lord stood before me with a handkerchief. And the Lord says I should prophesy that he's going to wipe the tears of people's academics. That's what the Lord showed me. Listen, I saw it. That's why I was holding the handkerchief. I was just holding my handkerchief and playing around it. Hallelujah. I was just holding it and waiting for him. I thought he was going to prophesy. That's why I just kept quiet. How many of you believe this? In the name that is above every other name. Whether master, student, whether PhD students, diploma students, according to that which was shown me in the spirit, I declare right now that every one of you who names the name of Christ and has cried, I command your crying to be over in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I see a meeting that is being done in the faculty of social sciences and I pray right now I see a meeting in the faculty of social sciences and it's going to affect the final year students we prophesy that it will favor you if you are in social sciences I prophesy in the name of Jesus hallelujah Peptic ulcers, lift your hands, anyone with peptic ulcer. I command, while this is going, ushers quickly, collect the prayer requests inside and outside. Peptic ulcer, lift your hands, lift it very high. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God touch you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, be healed in the name of Jesus. I command blindness, blindness, deafness of any sort, deaf ears be opened in the name of Jesus, blind eyes be opened in the name of Jesus. Every bone condition in this place, please while you are listening, be passing your prayer request quickly to the ushers. Bone conditions, right now in the name of Jesus. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every bone condition be straightened be healed in the name of Jesus cancers tumors lumps anywhere ovarian cyst I command it to go in the name of Jesus I command it to go in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. All those who came from places other than Zaria, run out here quickly, inside and outside. If you came from a place other than Zaria, come out quickly, for you won't go back the same. Please hurry up. Other than Zaria. Sheba Kabunda Kritikele Marashtra inside and outside any place other than Zaria but you will know that you met him the king of kings this is not all someone 
one is still sitting, the Lord is showing me this side. Come out quickly, please. We don't want you to go back the same. There's someone with a pain on your wrist. Check yourself, you've been healed now. A pain around your wrist. The Lord shows me healing around the wrist. Hallelujah. Among those of you standing, how many of you came to be healed? How many of you came for a healing, a healing related issue? Hallelujah, you and you. Who else? Hallelujah. Okay, I've, I've ministered to you. I want to make sure I minister to all of you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lord, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that you send them back with an anointing in the name of Jesus that every door that has been closed over your life that the Lord opens it in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you in ministry, I release a supernatural anointing that it will come upon you and engulf you that you will carry the fire of the spirit back to your ministries back to your places two of you God will use you very greatly in the name of Jesus for you will carry the fire of the spirit for you will carry the anointing of the Holy Ghost you will carry the anointing of the Holy Ghost Go with that anointing. Do signs, wonders. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Go with this anointing. I prophesy that whatever challenge it is that you came in, that the Lord solves it for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of you are representing your families. I command that you will go back with a miracle for your families by the creative power of God's word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Please run back. Let's have all the prayer requests here. Sorry we are rushing things. We have to hurry up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands all of you. We always do this during the meetings that there be impartations of signs, wonders and miracles. We are not a powerless people. Hallelujah. We, only, we don't just believe in healings and miracles, but we believe that you'll be carriers of this anointing. Hallelujah. And Lord, I pray. I'm going to pray for everybody right now. That the power of God will come upon you and the fire of God will engulf you. Let there be baptisms of the Spirit. Let there be impartations, miracles, signs, wonders, anointings that will be received. Hallelujah. I'm about to begin praying so inside and outside lift your hands and connect with the spirit when I begin to shout release that's what God tells me just one word release the Lord tells me there will be mass impartations and baptisms ushers as much as possible if you can let's have those people the power of God is already moving in the name of the Lord Jesus Shikapakapasya release i command a release right now everywhere in this building from the choir down this stand outside i command a release lift your hands and receive it let the power and the fire of god fall right now from the ministers down let impartations begin Oshas locates those people there is a strong impartation that God desires to happen bring them out Lagos all over the building all over inside and outside all over move please ushers locate them Miracle waters moving in signs. Everyone is receiving. Don't just wait till you're under the anointing. Lift your hands and receive. It's like fire and it's like rain outside. Fire and rain. 
the same time, at the same time, Everyone is receiving something. Don't just stand looking at those here. It's happening to everyone. For your ministries, an impartation. For your businesses, an impartation. Call Pastor Steve. Come, bring Pastor Steve. Setosha, bring him. Come, practice a portion. For you will carry a new anointing. A new anointing. A new anointing. You will carry a new anointing in the name that is above all names. of Jesus oh the power of God is still moving at the same time many things are happening at the same time at the same time I don't know what it is but I see an angel standing in this row this row this row the power of God will begin to move in this row this center row, this center row, there is an angel standing. Is the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord. This very row, this row, I stand before you. The angel of the Lord, for reasons I do not know, but he walks in the midst of you. He walks in the midst of you.
The angel of the Lord tells me to prophesy on this road. Lift your hands, those of you here, for he will move in the midst of you. For he will move in the midst of you. For he will move by his angel. Let there be a convocation of the angelic right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a convocation of the angelic stirring anointings. Find them to flame. Stirring anointing. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. The angel walks towards this place. I'm standing where the angel is standing. I'm standing and he says I should wave my hands. This is what the angel of the Lord says for me to do. I wave my hands. Choir. I wave my hands. I wave my hands. I wave my hands. In the glory. At the same time, miracles are happening. Check yourselves. Bring them out. Set the go. Pastor William's wife. There is a great anointing. No, don't bring her here. There is a great anointing. It will shake you to your foundation. Stepping into a new level. But those of the prophetic, it will burn you like fire. Fire. lady you come yes he will answer you yes he will answer you yes he will answer you for you step into a new oil new grace upon her let the fire engulf you by the power of the holy ghost five rows at the back the last five rows from my left to my right the last five rows at the back lift your hands the last five rows receive a fresh impartation the last 
fire flow. The fire of God comes upon you. Comes upon you. Bringing healing. Comes upon you. Comes upon you. You will know you met him tonight. Miracles, even to families. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain. I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Listen. The Lord asked me to go around this road. Just you people here. I want to do what the Holy Ghost is asking me to do. Is a fire that I'm engulfing. Shapatos, Rekoto Soko, Mampre Toskepa, Rakatoseke, Rente Koskepa, Shipakos, Mampre Takabaya, the Capros, in Tekali Capos, Sente Kebons, Hallelujah. Now, there is a heavy unction for healing. Please, the ministers, quickly. Let's just do this. I love this part of the miracle service because this is when mass miracles happen. We'll do this just for two minutes. Pastor Williams, sir, yes. Listen, as we begin to pray, you will get confirmations of your answered prayer. Either by the ministry of the Holy Spirit or impartations to your families as soon as we begin to pray i assure you pastor suleiman come pastor steve come quickly hallelujah as we begin to pray let's pray in the unity of faith instrumentalists help us lord release miracles release miracles sign Impossible situation, my Lord and my God. that in the name of Jesus Christ we ask that the fire of God will come upon this let it rise before you like an incense we release answers to prayers here in the name of Jesus we release answers to requests in the name of Jesus we command doors to be opened we command healings we command liberations in the name of Jesus Christ let the breakthrough of God come let the angels of God be released right this moment in the name of Jesus we ask that answers be released 
as has been released in the name of Jesus we pray hallelujah ministers please I'm going to hold our hands as I prophesy we'll do it in the unity of faith the corporate anointing hallelujah hallelujah we're going to begin to make declarations we're holding hands I'm not just prophesying I want you to believe it please believe please believe please believe oh this is where ancient doors get opened believe worshipers help me I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus for your academics every student in this place go forward excel 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 supernatural intelligence supernatural intelligence supernatural intelligence ideas in the name of Jesus ideas in the name of Jesus go forward no more failure no more failure no more carry over 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 Release five points. I said five points. Five points. Five points. First class. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you will excel. Yes, you will excel. I pray right now. Therefore, God even thy god has anointed thee with an oil of gladness that oil that distinguishes you everyone under the sound of my voice receive it in the name of jesus receive it let it set you apart set you apart in your office in your department, in your ministry, in your business, in your home, set them apart. I pray right now of you in business or finance or any corporate work but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty a new level of inspiration like the dew of Hammon for your families I command dying businesses Come alive, dry bones, live again, dry bones, live again, dry bones, live again. Hallelujah. Changfa prophesied there is an unusual release of jobs. And of opportunities you may not need it but your loved ones how many of you are tired of praying for your loved ones for jobs now is the time lift your hands as surely as the lord lives in the name that is above other names whether it's job change new jobs right now in the name that is above other names i command for you and for your loved ones Receive it in the name of Jesus. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Jobs without your interview. 
Yes, I prophesy. I prophesy under the unction of the Holy One of Israel, under the corporate anointing of the servants of the living God. Barrenness, barrenness, enough is enough. Barrenness for yourself and for your loved ones. The Bible says, Weep not, thou that is not there. For many are the children of the barren than the children of other is with child. I command miracle children now, miracle children, everybody move, be open. Everybody move, be open. Everyone without a womb. We create a new womb right now in the name of Jesus. Everything called delay in your life. Whether in marriage, whether in relationship, whether in your job. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahas. I pray right now. I command speed to your life. Speed to your life. Before December, you will accomplish more than you have accomplished. Before December, I prophesy. Before December, before December, supernatural restoration, and I will restore. I hear my spirit. Marriage is before December. I don't know what this means, but I speak as as I hear. Marriage is before December. After the Lord speaks and his hands will bring it to pass. And I will restore to you the years that the canker won. What have you lost in your life? I want to prophesy to you right now. The Bible says that the Shunammite woman, the king, asked that, they sh that she should go back and seven soul was restored to her. I don't care what you have lost. I command the restoration in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every uncompleted project in this place, whether it's a house your parents are building, whether it's, I don't care what it is. If it has been done by man, then there is no limitation for you. I pray right now, the resources to complete every project, I release it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> That when men say there is a casting down, we speak over your life. Your testimony from tonight is that there is a lifting up. I command a lifting up. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. A new level of the understanding of the word of God a new level he brought to Jeremiah and he said eat it and after he ate it he said now go and speak I command right now 
especially to ministers of the gospel unusual fellowship with the Holy Ghost unusual fellowship unusual dreams unusual impartation visions of the night visions of the day angelic visitation throne room encounter let there be a sharpening of the gifts of the spirit in the name of Jesus every life here that represents a wilderness in the name of Jesus let that wilderness tonight be counted for a forest be counted for a forest every tongue that rises up against you in judgment I don't care where it is Job chapter 5 he said you shall be delivered from the scourging tongues of men I pray that everywhere they talk about you they will speak for good they will speak for good they will speak for good hallelujah I pray for uncommon favor that anointing that was upon Esther that anointing that opens doors that no man can explain not even you the recipient that anointing that will attract strangers and cause them to feed your flock and cause that your gates be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I invoke that anointing of favor upon you in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you with all my heart. With all my heart. Lord, I worship you with all my heart. This is what this meeting is all about. And I am desperate for you. If you don't believe it, don't sing it. And I, and I, and I, I'm lost without you.
Jesus. We thank you for the dealings of the Spirit in this place. How that you are guiding us through spiritual paths that will bring us to the realm of grace, the realm of power, the realm of exploits in the Spirit that will be men of strength and power and structure. Lord, I pray that you put like never before a hunger for spiritual things that we will covet the reality of the realm of the spirit above and beyond anything that is in this realm. Just soak in the glory one minute. Let the instruments just play. Just let his presence rest upon you. Teaching you the art of worship. Thank you, Jesus. And Moses said, Do not let us depart from here. He said, For how shall the people know we are separate except your presence go with us? He said, Lord, do not let us depart from here. There is a mystery of his majestic presence. When the presence of the Lord comes upon a man, you become a living wonder. It's an aura of his presence. It's an atmosphere of his glory that words cannot articulate. Every time I pray, I pray that God will bring as many people into that realm where you will love his presence. For I have found out that the presence of God is all you need. Men chase after vain things. But when you have his presence, you have all of it. When you have his presence, the Bible says, And the Lord walking with them. And their words were confirmed with signs following. And the Lord walking with them. This is not about grammar. This is not about stories. The Bible says, and when three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire, a presence came with them. Presence. Lord, let your presence. So we bow as we enter the throne room. And we cast ourselves down at your feet, Lord. For you are holy, thou art holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. Lord, I bow as I enter the throne room. Lord, I cast myself down at your feet, Lord. For you are holy, you are holy. There is none like you. For in your presence, that is where we must be. In your presence, that is where I must be. It's in your presence, that is where 
It's in your glory. That is where. It's in your Shekinah. That is where. That is where. Yeah, man, na, 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 most. In your presence. That is where. It's in your glory. That is where. In your presence. That is where I must be. Now arise, oh Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your mind. And then we will rejoice. As we're clothed in your righteousness, we celebrate your life. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes. Oh, his mighty presence is in this place. Blessed are you, for you come in the name of our God. Blessed is he, 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 who comes in the name of our God. I hail you, most high. I truly hail you, most high. Hello, Tim Madonna. Hello, Gim 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 Madonna. This majestic presence, when that presence mantles you, it makes you a sign and a wonder. For there is a fire that comes from his presence. No demon can stand that fire. No devil can stand that fire. Infirmity cannot stand it. That's the place where true faith is incubated. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. If the Lord had not been on my side, now may Israel sin. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Find melodies of the spirit. You're becoming mighty men and women of the spirit. 
how hardened your heart is you cannot stand this majestic presence of God no matter how much of a stony heart you have when his true presence shows up smashes the stony heart the Bible says the mountains keep like lambs before him who is this God whose glorious and majestic presence can break the rocks into pieces Lord, let every stony heart become a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize why we take our time to press into his presence. There is a mystery of God's presence that the body of Christ has forgotten. This is not just about prayer. This is about understanding how to step into his presence. The presence of the Lord comes upon you. For you are glory. And worthy to be praised, you are the Lamb of the Lord. And unto you I lift my hands in praise, you are the Lamb of God. This is not a special number. You are glory. Listen to what you are saying. And you are worthy to be praised. You're the Lamb upon the throne. And on to you, I lift my hands in praise. You are the Lamb. Listen, if you do not love God and have a passion for him beyond your needs, beyond your life, beyond your ambition, beyond your schooling, let me tell you something. You will never taste of the blessings and the glory of God. For he will screen your heart until he becomes king of kings and lord of lords. Whatever else you put there, he said, lovest thou me more than this. I know you love me. But why have other things taken my place? Lovest thou me. When they saw the miracles and the manifestations and the mighty things that Jesus did. They came and they wanted to make him king. 
ask them he said lovest thou me we have seen the miracles and the wonderful things God is doing in this place but tonight can you lay aside for a minute your hunger for healing or for a miracle in your life or for a breakthrough and just say Lord I worship you for who you are just for who you are I know that I desire a miracle but tonight I'm not tying my worship to anything I'm just looking for ways to express that you are good I'm looking for ways to express that you are good can you bless him because he has been faithful Bless him. Make sure you are blessing him in one minute. This is what we are here for. Please bless him. Bless him in one minute. I know why I'm asking you to do these things. We are responding according to the things that are happening in the spirit. chapter 2 tonight we are to break into something in the spirit you may not understand why we are worshiping for thus saith the Lord of hosts yet once it is a while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake the nations and the desire of nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the lord of hosts the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts and the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former saith the lord and in this place i will give peace saith the lord hallelujah i was praying for tonight's meeting and the hand of the lord came upon me and in the spirit i saw a writing the season of reward and I just kept quiet and I was watching and the Lord told me he said announce to my people that they are stepping into prophetic seasons of harvest consolation and a reward 
a reward for labor in the spirit a reward for traveling defying yourself with the things you should chase after and i saw seasons of reward and the lord gave me this scripture he says i will fill this house with my glory and the glory of the latter house shall far exceed far exceed let me tell you something in this season we are entering God is about to use your life and prove to men that it's not a waste to pursue God. That's why when I came up, I told you everything that is not of God is a waste. Are you listening to me? That's why you see me singing songs of thanks. I know the things that the Lord has shown me. And my job tonight is to direct us in the spirit into this blessing. This is not something that one or two people will just stand and testify on behalf of the house. That everyone will have a personal testimony. Oftentimes, when you begin to walk with the Lord, after you travel and show him that you love him more than the things people are looking for, he tells you to stand still and he brings the other things that men chase after and say, I give you as a reward, as a symbol of your staying in my presence. This is why I began to talk about God's presence. Haribiti Arabata Hela Tobiju Haribiti Arabata Hela Tobiju Oluwa How many of you believe what I'm saying? Because when people hear words like this it falls on different kinds of soils and the bible says that the prophet said by this time tomorrow and someone dared to meander and come out and say even if the windows of heaven were open and he said you will see it so that you can confirm that god does not lie but you will not eat of it the bible says they had the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith. Let me tell you something. That the word of God is declared does not mean it will happen automatically in your heart. When it comes upon your heart and you take it and believe it as the word from God. It says believe in the Lord and you shall be established. But he said believe in his prophets. The oracles that he uses to declare his counsel unto the people. And he said therein you shall prosper. I bring you the word of the Lord tonight, Koinonia. We are entering a prophetic season of anointing for the house it has started. There is a new season of glory. It, it's an opening and it took him from the east side. The Bible says that the river began to flow and he measured a thousand cubits. These are realms and dimensions of operations in the spirit. When God measures for you a thousand cubits and you walk in that level of the anointing and you are faithful and you are diligent, then another thousand cubits is measured and he said the river rose down to my waist and he measured another thousand cubits and it was to my chest and then it became a river Kapota shalakata. it became a river and the bible says wherever that water went the fish that was dead came alive listen there are some things that are not possible at certain realms of anointings when you prove faithful to god what happens is a thousand cubit the measurement of the works of men how meticulous have you followed the plan to pattern the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and he told me now you can go deeper let me tell you glory has been opened over this house and God is bringing us as a house and as a family of faith into a new dimension of power and of the miraculous. He said this is a season of supernatural exploits and many of you are yet to see that dimension in its fullness but I tell you the spirit of God is beginning some prophetic works. You will see the miraculous the manifestation of God's grace you will see the manifestation of prosperity and the wealth and the blessings and the favor and the increase of God is already happening. It will happen by the hand of God. That's why I told you forget about the junks that people say Jacob have I loved Esau have I hated. Let me tell you something. It's not about gymnastics when you stay with God and stay on course. The Bible says the people began to move but Jesus retreated. They were six hours ahead. At the end of it, he got up and started walking on the water. There will be an acceleration of the spirit. 
many of you will see acceleration because you left some things behind to pursue God. He said, forget about them. You will find them in your future. God is in this season about to take sacrifices, things you would have done if you were not pursuing God. Some of you would have been in relationships if not because of your pursuit for God. Certain financial realms, but in this prophetic season, God is taking the things that are behind you because you have set your face like a flint. He's taking the things that are behind and bringing it before you. The Bible says, I will do a work in your days that even if it were told you, you would not believe. This is the season we're stepping into. He said, I will do a work. A work that will cause your ears to tingle. Blessings that will come into your life that will make you cry for days. You will leave the blessing alone and be crying and be saying, what minutes these things, oh Lord? And the Lord will tell you, this is what I mean. When I say, seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things, influence, power, let me tell you something. You will see influence in this house and in the lives of individuals. You know why? The Bible says, if I be lifted up, not a man of God, not a doctrine, not a sect, and I tell you that we have lifted Christ in this place. As a result, he said, I will draw all men to myself. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. This is what the Lord is doing in our lives. Hallelujah. This is why many of you do not understand why there has been a season of rapid deliverances because of the strongholds and the works of darkness that are standing to contend against the breakthroughs of people. But tonight we are going to pray and we will stand in partnership with what the Spirit is doing. The Bible says when you pray, say, let it be done in the earth as we have seen happen in the heavens. And so God reveals to us by prophecy the things that are resident in the realm of the Spirit and in the place of prayer we agree with heaven and say amen. For it is the Spirit in partnership with the right that tells the word to come and when the word comes it becomes flesh and it is made manifest in the midst of people we call koinonia a place of partnership and intimacy i tell you rejoice because you are god is about to use your life to prove men that have mocked your god in your family in your life you will see acceleration believe the word of the lord believe the word of the lord this is what God is doing in this season. You will see men walk in levels of glory. Men like God. And they looked at them and said, The gods have come unto us. Hallelujah. I bring you a word of the Lord. He said, Fear not, I have redeemed you, Isaiah 43. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the fire, I will be with you. When you walk through the water. For many of you, you are about to enter seasons of grace and glory. Uh -huh. he said and after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will restore us this is what is happening and many come where is their God upon Mount Zion let me tell you what has been happening the Bible says when that season comes in Mount Zion, the first thing that will happen is that there will be deliverance and holiness. And that's what has been happening to us in the last weeks. Immediately after that, the children of Jacob will begin to possess their body. Written in the word. It's a pattern in the spirit that every time God wants to bring people into their prophetic destiny and into their inheritance in light, there will be deliverance and holiness. And after which the sons of Jacob why the sons of jacob because jacob was a man of his presence he said i will not let you go and he wrestled with that man in the night so tonight i bring you a word we are entering seasons of reward i believe it with all my heart many of you have not seen a man who looks like a portrait of the blessings of the lord you have seen people who god blessed from jobs you have seen people who god blessed from crooks and pranks and all of this but wait and see god will use you and show you you will be a portrait of a man that the lord has blessed isaiah 51 it says god called abraham let's turn there shabakala marata subregedi balana basta 
Rangrogo so bregeti la kaso bregeti balaraba. Believe in what God is doing. Tonight is a prophetic meeting. Zata kala makuria taka brande galemo sa protusia. Jekrete kapara dabul sambria la nast. Shata pala na bakati ala master. God is opening doors, opening portals, opening things in the spirit. Are you there? Verse 2. Isaiah 51 verse 2. Look unto Abraham. What happened to him? Thy father and to Sarah who body. He said, I called him alone and I blessed him. Who blessed him? He said, I called him. I called him alone, not as a crowd. Tonight, God is calling men alone. This is not the issue of me and my roommate. Your personal faithfulness over the things of God. The Bible says, and one day the book of remembrance was opened over Mordecai. And the king could not sleep. He said, bring me the chronicles. And when it was opened, he said, this man has been faithful in this kingdom. This was an adumbration of how seasons of remembrance happens in the spirit. It doesn't happen every day the way men of God teach. It's a lie. But there is a time, a kairos moment. For the Bible says, if the cloud be full of rain, your daily obedience. That's why the Bible says, walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. You will see a man who has been locked up and John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Can I tell you something? When the light of God comes upon your life, even you will be afraid of yourself. I know what it means for God to pick a man who is nothing. And when he has your heart, he said, My son, give me your heart. Except the Lord builds a house. He said he built it in vain. He didn't say the house will not be built. But it's in vain. And except the Lord watches over the city. He said it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow but he gives his beloved sleep. Can I tell you something brothers and sisters? God is bringing us into a level and a measure of rest. As a ministry and as individuals. When the Lord showed me this I was excited. I was singing. I was dancing. I was praying because every time God shows you a thing in the spirit. The way you respond is by praise and thanksgiving. Are you listening to me? Judges, quickly. Judges 1. Let me show you something there. Praise is the recipient of spiritual things. Every time God promises you something, every time God tells you you are stepping into a season of blessing, that's the time to engage prophetic praise. Judges 1. Who is there? Judges 1. Read verse 1 to 3. Anybody? Someone read with the mic, please. All right, let's just read here. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall be the first to go for us against the Canaanites? They were entering Canaan. They had seen it. Hallelujah. But who is going to lead the way? For them to enter into this prophetic destiny and they asked the lord they said lord how shall we receive this prophecy you have given us and he told them he said judah shall go up judah means praise in other words it is with your praise let praise lead the way as you step into that prophetic time he said for indeed i have delivered the land into his hand not into the hands of the israelites into the hands of judah Are you listening to me? So every time you are entering a prophetic season, that's the time to praise him. This is why we are praising him. Many of you do not know what we are doing. Rejoicing and saying, Lord, we count you faithful. It says, Judah shall go up. For indeed, I have delivered the land into his hands. I have delivered the land into his hands. And Judah means praise. Hallelujah. Praise is not just about singing and dancing. It's about acknowledging the power, the superiority, the grace of God. 
that God is able. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh unto him must believe. Are you persuaded that God is able? For I have read in my Bible how that a whole land was dying of famine and in 24 hours katokabaya, and God used weak men, lepers that say why we sit we here and perish the Bible says when they were moving God accelerated their effort so that they had the sound of chariots and when it was time, the Bible says in the book of Chronicles that the prophet said believe in the Lord and you shall be established believe in his prophets and you shall prosper and the Bible says how that the worshippers were put in front. And when they began to sing, there was confusion in the camp of the enemy. They began to kill themselves. I believe in what God is doing. Please do not be part of those who will see and not step in. I declare this word because I want all of us to believe it. And know that there is a consolation. The kingdom of God works in a reward system. If God does not reward men, he's a wicked God. Every king in ancient times had times when he would step out and show his benevolence to the citizens. And every time you praise a king, you compel him to repeat what he did that made you praise him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I bring you the word of the Lord Koinonia. We are stepping into a fearful season. You will see the power of the Holy Ghost. God will orchestrate events. When God wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. I mean, when Satan wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. When God wants to, destroy, to bless you, he will also send a man. If you will hear my voice tonight, and believe that I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord, you will be surprised. The Bible says, when again the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And so our mouths were filled with laughter. And the heathens tested. They said, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, turn aside our captivities as the streams in the Negev. It's a season where we are stepping into prophetic blessings. So men will see that there is a system in God. God does not want to call you and just make you a broke failure. He doesn't just want to call you into ministry and keep you frustrated. But he says, son, what I want is to first have your heart. There is a Chinese tree. That is popularly said when you plant it for about three years, it will just be digging down and it won't grow. But within six months, in the third or fourth year, it will suddenly grow and become so tall this is what is going to happen to many people because the bible says the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards this is what we have been doing laboring in the spirit many of you have been given god has given you dangerous instructions empty your account you have done it and you are suffering you thought the miracle will come immediately it didn't come yet you said god you are faithful god said you are doing this to me you are showing me that you can do this Many of you, some of you who are students, God's scholarship, you carried everything and gave. And God said, you are doing this to me? You can't outgive me. If you outgive God, he stops being God. So every time you give to God, you provoke a dimension. And God said, I will set a new standard and let you know that I am God. We have many workers in this ministry that work tirelessly, day and night. The worship team, the ushers, the protocol in the rain. I bring you a prophetic word. Koinonia, you are entering a season of reward. The chronicles is open over us tonight. And God is going to begin to reward men. You will see fearful testimonies here. Men will come. What others have been chasing for for years. Somebody will just come and give it to you. The Bible says Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings to the brightness of your rising. He said your gates shall continually be open. To receive the forces of the Gentiles. I received this word. I know that is the word from the Lord. It will change people. We are stepping into a level of anointing. You will see things happen at the frequency of grace that will make you afraid. Inexplainable but undeniable. Inexplainable but undeniable. 
this is what happens when the grace of God comes upon a man. You cannot explain what is the mathematics behind this success. There is a hand and the Lord walking with them. And the Lord walking with them. I announce to you it's a season of exploits. This is the word from God. Believe it in your job. Believe it in your life. Ideas will come by the spirit. You are not fasting. You are not praying. It just comes. God brings it to you. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted. And all the nations will flow through it. Sometimes when I look at some people who come for koinonia. I know that if they were given an invitation card. No invitation card can bring this kind of people. You see them come and you know something brought them. The power and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Now is the time to forget about what who is saying about you or what your neighbor is saying. This Your roommates are saying you are always praying. You are, hold on. The day God blesses you, they will ask you that they want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. There are many ways God publicizes himself. One of it is that God blesses you in such a way that will make your enemies angry. God has a system package that he does that. When he blesses you, you say, Lord, to you be all the glory. And you will see how attractive your Christianity is. We are going to rise up and pray. This is the word I brought for you tonight. The word of the Lord to the house of God. I bring you a word. We are step this thing I'm talking about will start days from now. I'm not talking about months and weeks. See, the Bible says, Amos 3 verse 9, it said the Lord will not do anything but reveal his counsel to his servants, the prophets. Days from now, you will see all inspiring, fearful dimensions of the anointing, fearful dimensions of grace. I saw great criticism coming from people who are saying, how is this thing happening? But this is not new. This is why he prepares you before the blessing. Because it takes stamina to sustain the blessing. Hallelujah. You will see men step into levels of grace. Miracles and healings that you cannot explain. Even you will not be able to account for it. The power and the hand of God. Favor coming. Solomon was not asking. The queen of Sheba just got up package herself package all the gifts traveled all the journey and came to meet a man to bless him when the hand of god is upon you you become a sign and a wonder how many of you are ready to pray tonight i believe this if you are doubting tonight i like you to throw away that doubt god is bigger than you i believe in the word of the lord manifestations of grace you will see products of God's grace that will make people afraid believe me when I say this there have been times in my life when I've made audacious statements like this and then when the blessing comes you will see for the Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place declare thou on the mountain top it will happen by the power of the Holy Spirit there are angels already released to this effect and I truly believe with all my heart that this is a personal affair the Bible says I call Abraham alone and blessed him many of you will hear testimonies from your parents your father is not supposed to reach certain levels they just call him and the people who ask they say what is your business hallelujah before we pray, one parable that Jesus gave, I've shared it again and again in this place. The Bible talks about a husband man who woke up in the morning and he met certain people. And he told them, he said, come and dress my vine. And they said, we'll do it only if we have an agreement with you. Are you listening to me? I said something some years ago and I received some dangerous criticisms from it. Dangerous criticism. I said it that the concept of what we call in the body of Christ covenant is wrong. A man can really not enter a covenant with God. Let me tell you the truth. Because one minute later you have broken your own part. And in a covenant there is no mercy. 
go and ask the traditional rulers in your village a, a, a covenant is put to be able to commit the highest integrity of those who are at work but man in his nature is flawed the best of man's righteousness is flawed so God comes in the morning and meets those people they say Lord we are going to work for you only if we have an agreement God said you are not coming because you love me he said fine go to the farm later in the afternoon he met certain people again and he said come there was no agreement they came because they loved him to the 11th hour 11 hours some other people had been working for 11 hours and someone just comes at the 11th hour and he said why are you sitting here he said no man will bring us into the vineyard he said come and the bible says when he started paying them those who made agreement he went to them he said we agreed for a denary take those who did not agree said now since you entered the farm not staking your life i would have told you thank you and you would have still be grateful now let me pay you by my own standard and the bible says he paid them the same denary and he made them angry your blessing is going to annoy some people because they will not understand they are saying come on god this is not fair i got first class i got this and that my father is this god says jacob have i love Esau have i hated if you are angry ask god what is happening in this season huh. for I have seen a mystery and this is what I announced it by the spirit that this is what will happen those who call themselves princes are going to be walking suddenly we who are servants God will carry us and put us on horses the Bible says I see a mystery it's a mystery because it shouldn't be so Princes should be the ones walking on horses and servants pushing them. But he said in the realm of the spirit, I will reverse it. All those who think they are the gods of themselves, they will walk while some servants will ride on horses. I believe the word of the Lord and I bring you the word of the Lord. We are going to pray. You are going to release this word by faith. The Bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and so I speak. We also believe and therefore we speak. Listen, you are going to apply this in any, every area of your life. And cry like a priest. And say Lord every part of my life will experience this prophetic word. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters. When a woman is pregnant, look at me. Because of that pregnancy, I wanted to hold a man. You are a man, Mr. Man. Forget about the madness that happens in America. When a woman is pregnant, temporarily it will, it will, it will spoil her posture, correct? She may be spitting here and there. But forget about it, she's still waiting. Other women will look at her and say, ah, and this lady used to be fine. Oh, what is this? See how her face is. It's none of your business. She's carrying something. The day she gives birth, even her enemies will visit her with, with food. But the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, this is what you have been doing. There has been a travailing in the place of prayer, in the place of discipline. The unbelieving guy came. He said, just say yes to me. Let me change your story. He said, carry your story and go away. I don't want it. There is a story that comes from God. God said, you did this to me? Okay, hold on. I'm about to bring somebody. You prayed and said, oh Lord, whether the guy is blessed or not, let him just be godly. God said, I will give you double-double. You know that song they sing, double-double. God said, what is wrong with finding somebody that is anointed and blessed? Come on, brothers. You are not praying in tongues for nothing. The Bible says a time will come. This proverb will no longer be said in Israel. I prophesy to the brothers some proverbs over your life. That guy, this brother is so broke. It's just like he loves God. Some proverbs will be extinct forever. Yeah. You have been coming with your one sandal. You say, Lord, I will polish it and pray in tongues. Your prayer has torn your shirt. You sold it again. He tore it, you sold it again. You hold on and see. God will stop someone from sleeping in the night. Will say, my son is in need of something. He said, Gentiles shall come. See, I'm not motivating you tonight. I don't do that. I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord. Hallelujah. And ladies, let me tell you something. You should pray like never before. You know why? Because in the realm of the spirit, a woman is the only gate through which another life comes into this realm. Are you listening to me? 
Women are gates in the realm of the spirit. You go to a ministry, you don't find women there run away. There's big trouble. Because every time God is about to birth something in a season, you will see a multiplication of women. When Jesus died, all the men ran away. It was the women that summoned courage. They were gates in the spirit. The Bible calls them the wailing women. You go and look outside and see the number of ladies that had been coming. No invitation. You were moving alone. God just brought you. It's not because you just came. You are aligning yourself with prophecy. I bring you a prophetic word, Koinonia. Do you not read the handwritings on the wall? There is a season we are entering. A season you are entering. God is connecting you with those who need your gifts. God bless you. Remember our teaching on destiny help us. Many of you are at the level you are now. All you need is somebody who needs your gift. I tell you the truth. The wine presser had access to the king but did not have the ability to interpret dreams. Joseph had potential but no access to the king. But when Joseph and the wine presser met, the Bible says the king sent for Joseph. They shaved him and he came out of his dungeon. I prophesy to you that in this season, God is bringing someone. God will announce your gift. God will take you to a place that only your gift will be needed. I prophesy to you by the unction of the Lord. Listen. It is only the process of God's dealings that take time. The coming of the blessing does not take time. It is the dealing. It will happen in one day. It will happen in one day. Joseph sleeps as a prisoner. Wakes up the next day. The guy shaving him did not know he was shaving the prime minister. He would have said, as I'm shaving you, remember me. Some of you are seeing the person by your side. You are seeing him shouting. Saliva is pouring from his mouth as he's praying. Forget the saliva. Sorry if he's pours on you. But let me tell you, when God begins to bless men and women in this house, mark my word, it will make you afraid. There are some of you here, you left certain lifestyles because you wanted to come to God. And that your allegiance to God has been punishing you because you have to align to some things. I bring you a word from the Lord. Though weeping and just for a night, my Bible tells me that joy comes with the morning. How many of you have been tired of waking up one night? You just don't want to stay. You are praying that morning should come. And then suddenly you will sleep and wake up and see it's 8 o'clock. The morning had come. No. Your morning will come in a glorious and glamorous way. That God will prove it. And I believe that God is visiting families. In a dramatic way. Go and send text messages to your loved ones. And tell them this is the prophetic word. We are connecting you. This is not just healing of HIV and this. Thank God for those things. But let me tell you, an angel is measuring a thousand cubits over Koinonia. He's saying you have been faithful in this. Move deeper. And we will bring strangers. The Bible says strangers shall feed your flock. Where you will see somebody will come and say you don't know me. You don't need to know me. I'm sponsoring transporting people for the whole of this year. Don't announce it. Things will happen that will amaze you. Make sure you are lying in the flow. Are you ready to pray? Pair yourselves into two. Quickly, please rise up. Instrumentalists help me. Pair yourselves into two because we are going to pray. Please, if you are holding a, a lazy person and is not praying, leave him alone. Leave him and hold somebody that will help you get to where your destiny is. Lift your voice like a saint and begin to pray. Hold the person's hands. Lord, we take your word. We take your word. It's a season of reward for the house of Koinonia. We believe your word. You are not a man that you should lie. Days from now. Days from now. Days from now. The cloud is full of rain. The cloud is full of rain. And there will be a heavy downpour upon sons and daughters until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then 
the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine for a forest pray divine acceleration prosperity financial prosperity happening days from now financial prosperity a reign of wealth I tell you by the spirit of God new levels of grace new levels of grace new levels of grace who are thou mountain before the rubabel thou shalt become plain at the shout of grace 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 Goto so tekete rekete reke poja in your academic place grace to run like Elijah in your job grace 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 in your career the grace of the Lord step into visions step into dreams joy overflowing in the name of Jesus your days of discouragement are over your days of mourning are over as a servant of the Lord I bring those days to an end I interrupt your life with a prophetic word arise shine arise shine arise shine arise shine the glory of the Lord is upon you 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 mount up with wings as eagles mount up with wings as eagles you will run and not be weary you will walk and not faint you will run and not be weary you will walk and not faint they that be planted in the house of God they shall flourish like the cedars of Lebanon they that be planted in the house of God they shall flourish hallelujah mark my word this will happen days from now it will be an avalanche not on a few not on a few prosperity is coming I hear the sound of the abundance of rain new levels of anointing I hear the sound scrolls are being opened in the spirit portals of favor portals of grace we shout grace we shout grace at the shout of grace koinonia grace unto you koinonia grace unto you grace and peace be multiplied to you grace and peace move at the speed of grace Beyond what you want for, beyond your connection, beyond who you know, I bring families out of dungeons of failure, dungeons of poverty. Let the book of remembrance be opened over families. Let the book of remembrance be opened for your faithfulness. Let the book of remembrance be opened for your diligence. Let the book of remembrance open for thou O Lord at a shield for us for thou O Lord at a shield for us for our glory the lifter up of our head and my head shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and my head shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and my head shall thou exalt shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil I shall be anointed with fresh oil the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down he makes me lie down in green pasture 
He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, save. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy Lord and thy staff. They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness, mercy, prosperity, influence, increase, praise, glory, honor, and praise. Follow me. I pray, take it, take it, brother. Come on, pray. Just for one more minute. Just for one more minute. I take it, oh God. I take it, oh God. I believe your word. I position my spirit. I open the door. I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and wonders in Israel before you this day blessing and cursing I said before you this day life and death but I advise you choose life hallelujah Hallelujah. We're rounding up. I just want us to sing one song. Just one song. As a sincere cry. Lord, step in. Do the impossible. Oh, yes. Come on, provoke the hand of God. Change the story of families. Break through. Break through. Let there be a ray of prophetic breakthrough. Overnight miracles. By the power of God. Sing it as I prophesy to you. I speak as the servant of God. Under the abundance of praise that have been given. Let every door that has been closed over your life. I command gates. I command doors. Be open. Let the windows of heaven. The windows of abundance. The windows of grace. The windows of influence. The windows of peace. The windows of power. The windows of speed. I provoke it to your spirit. Sing it from your heart. Sing it from your heart. Lord, step in. Lord, step in. In the lives of people, ideas, connections, praise, praise. One more time. One more time. hold our hands as a family of faith lift it up to God we are agreeing we are saying Lord step in God is not a man that you should lie lift it as high above your head we are going to sing this song together are you ready now Lord step in as a family of faith my God let there be a rain of breakthrough prophetic season of abundance, prophetic season of increase, wipe the tears of famine, change stories overnight. God and my king I pray I did not call myself you have called me and you gave me a revelation of this word the Bible says 
bless ye the Lord the angels who excel in strength the Bible says who confirmed the words of his messengers please keep the hands lifted hallelujah hallelujah I prophesy Lord God of Israel it was like this many years ago when our father Solomon stood in front of that temple and on behalf of the nation of Israel he cried unto you my God I pray as a family of faith for we are serving a living God his name is Jesus Christ he died and he rose just sing it one more time I am serving a living God. His name. He died and he rose. My God, in the name that is above all names. I lay my hands upon this holy ground and I declare on behalf of the people you have called you are the head of this ministry my God I declare that every door that is closed over anyone here and any family here as sure as the Lord lives let that door be opened this night Oh God of Zion, hear your people speedily. Let there be a dispatch of angels. In the name of Jesus, we release angels to homes. By the word of the Lord, we release finance angels. We release breakthrough angels. We release angels of deliverance. Amen. We release angels of wisdom. Amen. We release angels of grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I prophesy to you, grace, Amen. grace, Amen. great grace upon you, great grace upon you. Amen. Without sweat, begin to enter some dimensions. Amen. Without sweat, enter some levels. I call for your destiny help us from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I provoke a connection. My God, you are called the father of spirits. Connect your people to those who need their gifts. I command visions. I command ideas. I open doors of opportunities. May you see revelations in the night. May the angels of the Lord visit you. May they give you ideas. May the kings of your destiny look for you. And bring you out, the, out of the dungeons of your life. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Academic breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Breakthrough in your academics. Spiritual breakthrough career breakthrough Amen. your days of waiting are over Amen. as the servant of God I declare that let your steps be like that of chariots Amen. let the wealth of the wicked that has been laid for the righteous let it find itself to your hands Amen. Gentiles come to your light Amen. kings to the brightness of your rising where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. 
be exalted because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even our God tonight may he anoint you with an oil of gladness above your failures rise to a new level in the name of Jesus I declare whatever has made you cry behold a new season of laughter I prophesy to you behold a new season of laughter the Egyptians that you see today I declare by the unction of the mighty one that you will see them no more forever and may the Lord give you a new name let Jacob be changed to Isaac let Abraham be changed to Abraham let Sarai be called Sarah let Cephas become Peter let Saul become Paul Bible says for he that endures to the end it shall be given a crown and a white stone I call your season of abundance Amen. tonight in the heavens let the book of remembrance be opened Amen. and let the days of your faithfulness be replayed before the presence of his majesty let the times of your prayer and fasting rise up as a sweet smelling sour my God visit your people Amen. let the old proverbs be a thing of the past in your life Amen. the Bible says a time will come that proverb will no longer be used in Israel Amen. I set you free from everything that has limited you Amen. you are unlimited Amen. I set you free Amen. by the anointing of the Holy Spirit the fire of the Holy Ghost consumes everything that attempts to limit your destiny I deliver you from inferiority complex that demonic voice that tells you you cannot make it whose report will you believe tonight I bring you a word rise up thou champion of God I speak to your spirit rise up from the dust I command your spirit rise up for you are not weak I send you a word of prophecy it says and the spirit entered me and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet where your destiny has been tied down so that you will not arise as the star rose when Jesus was born let a star rise above you and call wise men to your tabernacle whatever has covered your glory and has shielded you in the name that is above all names I declare that that light and that fail let it be taken from your eyes all the opportunities you've been you've lost in the past I stand mistakes of the past whatever it is I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy to you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for tonight the Lord is doing a new thing tonight the Lord is doing a new thing he will make a way for you where there is no way for those of you who have fallen the Bible says is there hope for a tree though it be cut down I bring you a word tonight listen it says there is hope for a tree though it be cut down at the scent of water there are some of you here you have dreams and you started working on it but things happen and you fell back again and the devil spoke lies to you I bring you a word tonight the Bible says in the book of Amos that a lion eats up a sheep to the point that there is only an ear and two legs yet the shepherd runs after that lion and recovers that ear and two legs what will you do with an ear and two legs the lion has eaten the whole animal but the shepherd still ran let me tell you the miracle is not in what you have lost the miracle is in what you have left for if you will give thanks with it like five loaves and two fish you will lift it up let me tell you there will be multiplication for this is the season of multiplication hear the word of the Lord you are not small you are great he made you so you may come from a small village but you are great you may not be able to speak English but the hand of God is upon you 
men have called you names. You may be staying in a hut. You came here not eating, but I bring you a prophecy. Enjoy these days because they are going forever. You will never see them again. But the psalmist says, since I was young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Even if it looks like you are forsaken, calm down. God is never too late. Behold, he comes. The Bible says, and the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. I bring a word of comfort to someone as we round up. It's not over. Hear me, I prophesy to you, you can start again. It doesn't matter what has happened in your life. I don't care what has happened in your family. It doesn't matter how bad it is. My brother, you may have been drinking and smoking. You are struggling. You are with God. You are not with God. Let no man condemn you tonight. There is strength for you. And I command, the Bible says, and they told the prophet, they said, where we meet with you is too small. Let us go to the Jordan. And then the axe head fell. And the prophet said, where did it fall? I command miracles that you cannot explain. And the woman who lost her son in name, the Bible says they were already going to go and bury that child. Suddenly, Jesus stepped on the way. Many of you are about to close some chapters, but Jesus is holding it back. He's saying, who is asking you to close it? For who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not instructed it? Are you hearing me tonight? I'm prophesying to you. And the Bible saw them. And Jesus saw them and said, bring back and he brought him back to life three significant death incidences in the bible the first one the child just died and jesus came to him and looked came to the lady and said talita kumi girl i say unto you arise who is god speaking tonight god is speaking to some people tonight there are some of you that this is all the prophecy you need tonight talita kumi to your spiritual life talita kumi to your finance to your self-worth Talita Kumi, I prophesy to you arise. I prophesy to you arise. And the Bible says, Lazarus was sick. And when he was sick, Jesus said, it is not unto death. There are some of you, you were going through certain challenges and God told you it would be better. But it did not get better. It went worse. And the Bible says, and Lazarus died for four days. And Jesus said, do you not know that I am not just the one who heals. I am also the resurrection. Kabbalakataya. Son of man, what seest thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correct. Tonight we see correctly. God is restoring dreams. And shattered lives. Tonight. I'm going to make a very special altar call. All of you listen to me. There is, a, there is an anointing for restoration. The beginner's anointing is coming on some, some people. For some of you, God is not opening new chapters. He's giving you a new book entirely. Listen to me. This is, this is not just, there are two altar calls here tonight. The first, please don't just be emotional. Hallelujah. I'm talking about those before we take those who are not born again. You are born again. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't just come being emotional. You know you know that for some reason in your life, you have found yourself struggling at the same spot, at the same level. I'm not just I know we are all pressed. There are some people for some of you it's your family. You know this is, you know what I'm saying the same cycle, the same spot, spiritually and otherwise. Please, I'd like you to lift your hands. Let me see how many people. Run out here quickly. Please, very quickly. We just have three minutes to do everything we have to do. Please, don't just be emotional. Don't be emotional and just come out. There are some people just stand. Come near. Come near. Come near to the extreme. Don't be ashamed. This is a school. This is a prophetic place. God is wiping someone's tears tonight. Believe me. Every time you are in trouble, God sends a prophetic word. 
when he sends a prophetic word it can change your story in one day hallelujah all of you that are standing if there's no space just stand there just stand there outside just stand in faith faith is the most important thing listen some of you have struggled in the same spot for years you would have been far ahead of you love the lord for some of you is your mistakes some of you is your carelessness whatever it is it does not matter i bring you a word tonight no man condemns you are you listening to me there is that precious blood that flows from emmanuel vein and is going to speak mercy for you lift your hands i want to prophesy and curse whatever legal hold that satan has over your life and destiny that is keeping you where you are hallelujah i like you to shout amen when i ask you to like your life depends on it you just need to believe some of you will be looking at me it will look like magic see when a servant of god stands he can change your story with the anointing of the holy spirit i don't know the stories that are represented here but tonight i tell you there is one who is mightier than i some of you are supposed to have been married some of you are supposed to have left some levels you are intelligent you are bright you are brilliant but tonight i'm praying for you lift your hands my god in the name of the lord jesus christ Satan, take your hands. Come out of her now. Come out now. Out of her. This lady has been tied. I release you tonight. Now. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Your destiny must open up. lift your hands please as I make this pronouncement some of you will see visions of things happening immediately hallelujah I'm going to shout be open that's the instruction God gives me as I make that shout some of you will literally feel something leaving you and that will be the end of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be open opened close destinies be open be open be open be open breakthrough I release breakthrough receive breakthrough in your marriage breakthrough every limitation before you I burn it to ashes now in the name of Jesus doors open for you gates open for you run with the spirit of Elijah I'd like you to go back to your seat rejoicing a miracle has happened to you come on celebrate Jesus Many of you will come back with testimonies of the fearful hand of God. Now very quickly, we've taken so much time. You've never given your heart to the Lord. Look at me please. Inside and outside, listen. You've never given your heart to the Lord. You've not made a decision for Jesus. You may be a nice person, but you've not opened up your heart to receive salvation. Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but because of the cares of this life, you have found yourself derailing. Please, everybody stand. We're rounding up. Everybody stand up. Please, wherever you are, tonight a new beginning starts for you. My brother and my sister outside, leave your seat and come right now. Jesus is calling you. Koinonia, begin to clap for them as they come. I know that there are people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. God is giving you a new beginning. Inside and outside. You've never made a decision for Jesus. Or you've made a decision for Jesus. And you found yourself derailing they are coming keep appreciating them there are some of you here don't be ashamed don't let your friends stop you it's a new beginning welcome home welcome home it's a new beginning 
there are still some people outside the lord is showing me the devil is a liar he cannot hold your destiny to ransom you have cried alone but tonight god is giving you a new beginning i still see a few people outside the lord is giving me words about people outside don't remain there the lord is still calling people hallelujah look at me this is the best decision you would have made in your life for the bible says any man who comes to him he will in no wise cast away lift your hands to heaven those of you in front say after me lord jesus i believe in you come and join us sister lord jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me you shed your blood for my sins today i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that i'm born again the past is gone this is a new beginning in the name of jesus i denounce sin and satan holy spirit come and live in me today you are my god forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ i pray for you lord preserve these ones bless and preserve them no going back your salvation will be authentic and be genuine from today you are growing from grace to grace and one dimension of god's spirit to another in the name of jesus dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.